at 6.46, uh, finally arrived. Very difficult finding this place in the dark, some of these uh, Welsh roads are something to believe, I tell you. Um, anyway, uh, I'm sat now waiting. I'm, I know the reservoir is to my right. I've uh, been out and uh, you can actually see the water, but it's absolutely pitch dark. So just waiting for some sunlight to start coming through and uh, we'll be getting set up in a little while and uh, see what we can do in regards to taking a couple of pictures. So uh, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and uh, just sit quietly and uh, just wait for the uh, the sky to start lightening and uh, we'll see what we can get uh, what we can get some snaps on. What a drive, what a drive. <laughs> Alwyn Reservoir, uh, North Wales. Uh, no sign whatsoever this morning of any sunrise. Sunrise is meant to be coming in the direction down the valley, but with this uh, this weather and fog, we're certainly not going to get any sunrise right now. A um, little bit of drizzle, but uh, otherwise kind of warm this morning, mild I would say. So this is where we are. This is Corporation of Birkenhead Alwyn Reservoir, 1911. So just have a wander over the reservoir bridge itself. And uh, to my right, we've got the lake in all its splendor, certainly full. Spotted a uh, opportunity on the far side, so I've already done a little bit of a walk around, and uh, we'll take some shots, and we'll we'll see get we we'll see what we get from that. So there's the sluice gates allowing the water to flow. That might make for a nice picture. Uh, so we'll have a look. It's beautiful. You can see the colours. Absolutely beautiful. The purple heather. Green trees. And the mist in the distance. There's a view I was hoping to get. All with a golden sunrise behind me. Although I don't think we're going to get it. So, we'll just have a wee little walk over the reservoir, see what we can find. There's a heron just flying across the lake, that's always nice. All in all, it really is a nice place, particularly that bit there behind me. That looked absolutely gorgeous with the hills and the water. So we'll see what we can do. It's certainly going to be grey, grey, grey today. So it is grey and uh, I've just come across this first possibility for a picture. Tiny piece of uh, broken twigs there, bit of a branch of a tree washed up against these uh, rocks in the foreground. So I think we're going to give that a little bit of a go. Well, the rain's really setting in now. Uh, totally, uh, totally washing out my lens. Anyway, we're going to have a wander around the far side of the lake. Uh, some trees over there might get a little bit of out, out of this, but uh, the lake is completely greyed out now. The wind's blowing and howling, and there's absolutely no sign of any sun today at all, whatsoever. It's not happening. So we've come a long way, 
So I think we'll just keep going on and see what happens until I can't take any more of this wetness. But uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm here, so let's keep going. Come a little way around the lake now. It's a little bit uh, out of the wind over here, so it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit nicer. A lot of foliage, a lot of interesting trees. Um, so I've just taken a shot of uh, a small tree that was covered in a, a weird colour green moss. So that's another one just there. So I don't know what type of trees they are, but they just caught my attention. There's one just behind me there. There you go. I have no idea what type of tree they are. Got this wonderful lime green moss. Um, really, really interesting. So I took a shot of a tree. Um, I'll post that up as well. Very, very misty. Very, very misty. So that makes for a good picture, of course. Um, I just got to find something interesting to put in the foreground. Um, see what we can do with it. The drizzle is still doing its stuff. We've got the... Uh, Head of the reservoir just over there behind me. Reservoir, um, quite an experience. Total whiteout. Uh, the cloud cover has been tremendously low through throughout the, the morning. No sunrise whatsoever. Um, despite, all, despite all my hopes that there would be, um, completely washed out. Spent a lot of the time going through the forest, which was which was good. Got some. Uh, well, I like them. Some terrific pictures um, down in the valley around the, the, the base of the lake and uh, had a little go at some slow expo slow exposure with a 10 stop. Um, on the camera, on the small screen, they look to be okay. They look like they came out reasonably well. I won't know until I get them back home, of course. So we'll, we'll have a look at those. Um, so, so it's not for it to be a wasted journey. Uh, and because it's only about, I don't know, nine or 11 miles away from where I am, um, decided to go and spec out Bala Lake. Um, it's been a while since I've been to Bala, um, but I think it might be an opportunity just to go and recce it and see if there's some some options there to come back on a on a nicer day. Um, we're getting we're going to get a little bit lower down away from these hills, so we might have a little bit uh, a little bit more light. So we can we can try some shots down there anyway. Um, but I'm not giving up, I'm not going home just yet. It's uh, quarter past eleven now, so. Uh, you know, it's uh, five, six hours or so. Um, I've got the rest of the day to myself, so I'm not going to give up on this. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll carry on when we, we get to Bala and let's go and see what it's like down in Bala, North Wales. Let's go. Cool. 